beautiful bag. What makes it more beautiful is there's actually a zipper on the outside as well. Okay, that's what we got going on there. It even has a little gusset pocket there, another strap holder and a hand bag ink. And it opens up two zippers here. Zip on the top, zip on the top. Open up and this is what you've got. Lovely. This side we have the controller here. There you go, you've got your controller, joysticks, on off button, return to home button, M button, up and down button and this button here. Camera or video, so you can take video or you can just take regular photographs with this. On the back it's got uh, two antenna. Do they have anything in them? Possibly, I don't know. But we'll have a little charging port there because this is a battery that doesn't, it's not like AAA batteries, it's actually stuck in there like that. And this is to hold your phone here. Yeah. And these fold down a specific way so that they sit nice and square there. Okay, what else you got in here, John? Well, you've got the, the strap for the bag. In here, you've got a little... What is that? Okay, it's extra props. Charging cable. This here is the charger that you put the battery in. Well, where is the drone itself? Well, I think it's under here. Look at that. It's a very nice bag. And this drone looks very nice too. It really does. It feels solid. It even comes with a tag with a, a warm tip or a warm tip. Warning tip. It's got in both uh, Mandarin and, and English. Okay, let's see what else it does. Okay, we've got these little guys open up like that. In the bottom here is where you put your your battery. I can see here it has two sauna sensors here and also an optical position sensor. So that's great. On the front you've got a three-axis gimbal. I mean, come on, a three-axis gimbal. That's pretty fancy. It's got the old fold-down leggies here. There, one, two, three. There we go. An odd shape, looks very organic I must admit. In the back here there's a little uh, taped up area. I suspect. Now then, question. Does this drone take an SD card? Well, we hope so. But I'm not seeing the place for it. But if you look just under the camera there, there's a small s slot. I don't know if you can see that, but that's where your SD card goes, so that's great. You can record from the camera directly on the SD card as well as down onto your um, Android. And you think, ah, that's it, that's all that's in the case. But actually, down here is a little a secret area. Let's see. But, uh, this also comes with an operation manual, which is handy, which is what you always need for calibration, etc. Well, this is a nice time of day to do drone flying because the sun's not in your eyes and you can see the monitor on your phone much better. So, on your phone much better here. Right? So what I'll do is you press the back of the drone First thing you do, wait for the gimbal to calibrate itself. So let's just see what happens there. It says wait for your gimbal to calibrate itself. There you go. Starting to do it now. Little fella. What we got on the back here, what does it tell us? We've got a flashing blue light. Ooh. Okay, so we've got that part taken care of. Next part is to turn on the actual the controller here. Hold it down. What we see there is two green lights. One of them means that we've paired to the drone 
the other one means we've got GPS. If we're just flying in an altitude mode, it would just that be red. Okay. And the light down there is green. Now, next thing to do is next thing go to settings, go to connections, and then we go to ground one. That's the one you click on here, ground one. There you go. Vibrate to let you know that there's internet not available. So once you've connected to that, which connects to the controller, I assume. And then the next thing is to open your C Fly app. Okay, we we'll check. Okay, it says connecting, start flying. All right, looking good. Okay, drone is run under remote control. That's good. Let me see that there. Press again and leave the program. Okay. There we go. Now we'll do compass calibration here. It says calibrate. What you do to calibrate the compass is you just turn this like that. The three times, and then you turn it. Then you turn it that way about three times. And then it will see it that your calibration is a success. Okay, it's calibrated success. That's good, that's good. Solid green light. Before it was red and green flashing, now it's solid green, so that's what you want. If you end up at this point and it's flashing green and red, turn everything off, start again. Okay, we've done that. Got that done. Now we can do the gyro calibration. Okay, let's gyro calibrate. Okay, success, very good. Right, now, <laughs> we'll come out of that, and then we're gonna press that to start the, there we go. Oh, oh there I am, oh, lag. That's what we've got, we're suffering from lag. Okay, it's moving around a little bit, and I think I recall somebody says to get rid of that. You just spin it around on its axis. There we go, we'll take a photograph. There you go, take a photograph of that. Yeah, just give it a re make it revolve on its own axis and see what happens then. See if that helps. So I think it might help as far as getting GPS positioning. There we go.